<laughs> that was supposed to be cooler <laughs> than that was. That was really cool. Yeah, you know, it's been a it's been a bit. It's been a minute. It's been a hot minute. Yeah. It's actually just been a week hiatus. But for Word. us, that's a big deal. Yeah. We like to think of ourselves as consistent. And we don't miss. But uh, welcome to the Joystick Show. Now, we only take weeks off for COVID, snowstorms. Yeah. And schoolwork. Yeah, that's a, that's yes. the new third. It gets added in there. That's a fair one. I gotta mm-hmm. I gotta say it's fair. Uh, Finals week. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. It has been a bit, but uh, we're very excited to entertain you and educate you for about forty to sixty minutes. As how as you know how it goes down here on the Joystick Show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a full table here. Whole gang. What's yeah. up? I am Robert. Dylan. Joey. Jerry. And uh, we're we're gonna talk about a, a bunch of fucking things. Are we? Also, just like amped up because, as the guys know, they don't know too much about it because I'm the one who's pulling the strings on it. But like, I have a little presentation to show the guys yeah, after I've heard this. About this. Like, I I kind of took the. I, weirdly enough, I feel like this week break made me a little bit, you know, more active on the whole content game. I don't know what it is, but like having that week off made me want to get up and be like, you got your brain juice. Do a fucking me. stream, you know? Yeah, do some shit. Conceptualize a show. Sit down with dad. Do some chef son stuff, you know. Ooh. And uh, and I'm very excited. Workshopping, as yeah. they call it. Yeah. And yeah, speaking word. of content creation, before we go any further, it it would help us a fucking huge deal if you like this episode of the Joystick Show. We're up to ninety. We're some yeah. old fucks. Thumbs yeah, up. bro. Have we're you very, watched, have you we're watched really every old. single one of them? I've watched every single one of Bobby's them. Bobby's definitely seen them twice. Yeah. Bobby's definitely watched different camera views. Oh yeah, yeah a seen, lot. Seen the raw, Oof. uncut. Uh, you know, I even missed that. I missed editing yeah. the show. You know. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to Team Joystick. That'd be a, a great thing. This and later like, on, we're gonna. There's a bell. There's a bell. There's too. a bell. Yeah, it stays <laughs> yeah. notified. You can you even can do personalized it. alerts no, to see what's going on. And last but not least, uh, we're gonna give you something to comment later on, so you get part of the discussion. But for now, let's. Uh, we gotta. We gotta hammer it in. It's been a bit, like yeah. we said. Not only that. Usually, like when we <clears throat> when we have these hiatuses from making content, we still see each other. But I haven't seen you guys in a very. Yeah, it's been. Uh, Max. Yeah. But yeah. It's been busy. It's been quite the minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, many minutes. How you, how you been spending your minutes? Yeah, I've been doing well. Um, I almost saw two Broadway shows in one day. That oh, would wow. have been fun. Oh, wow. I only know about one. Yeah, because we... Well, because I had the option to go to like the matinee performance of a different Broadway show. Okay. Which show? I, f- I do not remember. It's like a oh. revival. And Music the, Man? No, it, the main character used to be a man, and now it's a woman. Oh, Company. Yes. <laughs> so I could have seen company. Shout out to I, yeah, Joey. Yeah, I, knew, I knew Joey was gonna know. When, too. When's this segment where Dylan yeah. just bullshits descriptions of <laughs> it's, Broadway it's shows? It's saw the hundred thousand dollar pyramid, but Broadway yeah, yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Prince uh, of Egypt guy, half a face. <laughs> Wayne Brady, a <and> drag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, we, I was gonna see that, but I was busy with the whole day, finals week, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, at, uh, instead of that, I saw the eight o'clock showing for a Strange Loop, mm-hmm. which is an incredible show. I know Joey has seen it. Uh, it was off Broadway a few years ago, and now it's on Broadway again. Uh, very nice, very good show. Very uh, homosexual, as I might say. Got it. <laughs> but in, in the best way possible. Yeah. Very good. There's uh, a lot of those. A lot of like, gay yeah. Oh no, yeah. Not even trying to make a joke. There is a legit yeah, yes. amount of like you know mm-hmm. homosexually it's, oriented it's known, theater which is shows. The yeah. fact that this is now up for I think eleven Tonys. Which yeah, I looked it up. Set, yeah, yeah, won which, like a Pulitzer. All this shit. Yeah. shit. Yeah. I need to get my tickets before it's like yeah tickets yeah. skyrocket mm-hmm. you've yeah. seen it off broadway right? i've seen it off broadway yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so um i got it through the raffle so it was like cheap nice. but yeah we were like nice. and you got front row yeah right? we were like that it was a little um you know uh very close to getting spit on you know, yeah no that. that that show isn't really like you're watching a show the the actors are like talking to you yeah it's literally- and it gets to a point where like even like the the content of the the show is really like deep and raw like there's moments where like the stage lights just turn on and like it lets you like sit in the uncomfortableness oh that's weird mm-hmm. and like yeah. that mm-hmm. dylan was like up oh. close and personal i was like oh dylan <laughs> get ready yeah dylan. Well, we're gonna be they're gonna be talking to dylan's you in the yeah. splash zone. well no because the pr- the thing i knew is i knew going in that it was like very meta and stuff this is the most meta thing i've ever seen in my life okay like because it's like it's so like i don't want to say self-indulgent but it's very much like the whole concept is that it's like a loop. So things just kind of like repeat itself. So it's like he's a the show is like a Broadway show about doing a Broadway show. But in that, he's also doing a Broadway show. So like it kind of. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so it, you can kind of see how it's just kind of super like self-referential. There's a lot of jokes to other Broadway shows. Yeah. And like other famous the, pro- the yeah. process of making a show it's like when yeah, you watch a movie biz. about the movie business yeah. there's several yeah. times there's several times where like one of the characters which are like his thoughts because like every character in the show is the ma- is the lead's thoughts yeah and those are all like the side people 
Uh, but my main favorite thing about it is just the the way it like all comes together. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, Yo, it's very good. Joystick should all go. Yeah, we should. Let's all just <laughs> go. <laughs> strange loop. Yeah, it's it's uh, definitely possible. What was the the one I wanted to go to? I wanted to go see. I want to see Jersey Boys because it's back. I've seen yeah. it before, but I, I liked it a lot. Cause I'm yeah, like there's several times in the show where like they're like these guys want to know when they can go home. You know, like it's, it's oh yeah, it's everything is a reference to the crowd, and it's like fucking I don't know. It's deep, man. It makes mm-hmm. you think very like uh, very deep. Like I don't believe people when they go see like The Lion King or something, and they're like, oh, it's thought provoking. It's not. It's fucking Disney. <laughs> You can know. I can I jump the gun? Because because no because the Lion King is like one of the only like other Broadway shows I've seen. Yeah, and I saw it when I was younger, and not only did I not appreciate it, I was like kind of like, eh, this is mid. You well, know. Well, keep in mind, I saw it as an adult. Yeah. So I saw it recently, like a year ago. Mm-hmm. And while I will say, obviously, it's not super thought provoking, and I only agree with that because there's a fucking movie already, and yeah. we've all seen the movie, and even then, the movie's based on like Romeo and Juliet. So mm-hmm. you know, th- this goes deep, mm-hmm. but the Broadway production of the Lion King made me fucking cry out of the, sh- the sheer beauty of it. Yeah. Like the sheer yeah, magnitude, it's, it's really the pretty. scale of it. Mm-hmm. Like as soon as you hear those, like, he lives the, in you. yeah, you're just like, Oh fuck. Like you're not, there's nothing sad's happening. You're yeah. just like this. I'm part of this right yeah. now. And it's, it's insane. Here's yeah. the thing. I realized I don't like that though. Mm-hmm. Like my thing is that like, I like the, like with movies too, I don't like a big, like grandiose movie. I like a psychological thriller. Yeah. I like a movie where it's like in on itself. You oh, know what I, I got? Mean? So I when, could talk about psychological thrillers, honestly. Me too. There's some new ones coming out yeah, that yeah, look yeah. so good. But uh, overall, yeah, I just I realized I'm a big fan of like anything that's like really meta like that. Like I thought I would not. I feel like I'd be. I feel like it'd be too pretentious. Uh-huh. But no, this does really good. It makes you think a lot about like being gay in, in like America and stuff, or like coming from like a conservative household from either You're side. Talking, uh, race as well. Yeah, just super bit. Like, it's like it really makes you think. Like, damn, what a you know, not to make a joke out of it, but like a horrible spawn point. To be like a person of color and gay True, and also yeah. overweight and also being trapped in the wrong body or yeah. just like the it's like it's like damn you not have to feel with... connected to your race like yeah it's, oh, it's like oh shit like that's like a you know not like a double edged sword but like a many that's like a crazy like, like twelve edge you, shit yeah. <laughs> yeah it's basically about the show about all the odds stacked against him he feels fine like yeah uh, and I my favorite thing about the show to close it off is that. I feel like the small cast is always like I like a small cast, especially if they're all killer, because mm-hmm. then it's like you know it flows really well and it makes all, them more memorable yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And it's like everyone kind of stands out, but also in the show, his like self-deprecating thoughts are played by a person, but that person also plays the character in real life that makes that thought manifest. Mm, so there's one it. character in the show, for example, that's his blackness. It's like his self deprecating this about like, oh, you're not black enough. You're yeah, trying to be yeah. a white girl, blah, blah, blah. But that character also, that guy also plays his dad, which is where oh, that blackness guy. comes, comes from. from. Yeah. yeah. So that is just, you know, very beautiful. Super cool. Yeah. yeah. I want to see mm-hmm. more too. So I definitely want to get some recommendation, recommendations from Joey. Pa- I feel get... like Passing Strange had that vibe. Yeah. The whole meta, like talking and breaking mm-hmm. that wall. Yeah. But yeah. Strange. That's why I like musicals. It's strange. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where any any musical with the word strange is going to yeah. be Doctor well, Strange. The music. I watched yeah. Doctor Strange too. Doctor Strange was two two. I mean, we talked about it, but yeah. You know, here, here, a little segment for you. The the joystick crew asks Bobby any open ended questions they have about where Marvel's going. Go. Uh, will Howard the Duck get his own movie? Yeah, totally. <laughs> no, I, the reason I brought this up is because I was going to say. Um, with the Illuminati being, and I'm bringing this up, spoiler alert, the movie's been out for a bit. All right, I, I, I We talked yeah, about Doctor Strange. Back? Actually, technically, we didn't really talk about it. We talked about Moon Knight, and I yeah. specifically said that we couldn't talk about Strange because it was too early. Mm-hmm. But now that the movie's out and that the Illuminati's been like confirmed, it's just gotten me like thinking so many different theories for Marvel. It's insane. That girl America like opens a huge fucking floodgate yeah, for them to do busted. anything. Mm-hmm. I saw an ad uh, for a mobile game and they had like America just like opening portals of like all these characters and I was like, they could do that now. <laughs> yeah, they could legit do that now in their movie and be like, that makes sense. Well, did, did you it's hear uh, some a writer came out or I don't know if it was a writer, but somebody who worked on the movie came out and actually said that they had about five other characters slated to appear in the movie and all, all of them got scrapped, but one of them actually got a filmed scene that got uh, deleted. And oh, they wow. filmed the scene with Michael Fassbender's Magneto, 
from oh, like the wow. from like the younger generation X Men movies. Yeah. So I thought that was fucking sick, and I really like Michael Fassbender's Magneto too. So I was like, wow, that's really interesting. That's cool. But like even in the the the, the stuff about uh like the variants of these people, right? Like Captain Carter and like the like specifically with Professor X. What I thought was cool was that uh he's he's it's Patrick Stewart's Professor X, but it's not Professor X from the X Men movies. That's the weird thing. Mm, it's okay. a new Professor X That's who's supposed different. to be uh, based <laughs> more on the animated X Men series from '97. Okay. That's why when Patrick Stewart comes in on like the yellow float hover chair, which is from the series, it actually plays the theme from the animated <laughs> series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also tight. found out through Jaronson that John Krasinski's not there when he's playing Mister Fantastic. He got green screened in. And Jaronson on the stream was going through this whole thing where he's like, I just, I fucking hate when they do that, man, because the actor's not actually there. And I had to break it down for him. And I was like, Jaronson, every Marvel movie has like two scenes like that, dude. And I even showed him one from Spider Man. It's a scene from uh, Far From Home in mm-hmm. Europe where Nick Fury hits Ned with the tranquilizer and has the conversation with Peter. Nick, uh, Samuel Jackson was never there. So it's just he's green screened in, but you watch that scene, there's no action. It's just so good. You wouldn't think wouldn't twice think about anything. it. Wow. So he's like, You're telling me that. Nick Fury's not actually there, and I was like, not only is he not there, he's, he's not, not actually real. holding a gun. He's they they CGI his. Not only is he yeah, not there, he's, he's not real. real. <laughs> he's not real. It's not a real person. It's not a real person. Jerson's holding the DVD in his hands as it fades away. He's like, <laughs> oh, Jerson, what movie are you talking yeah. about? This is gone. And then the last thing I wanted to say was that uh, I think what one thing was cool. I think I was telling Jerry about it. Um. You remember in, in, in Avengers 2, did you see Age of Ultron, the second Avengers movie where like Vision is in it? And, yeah, I actually I didn't see so. that one. So long story short, at the end of that movie, I I Hulk, <laughs> Hulk gets all emo and he's mm-hmm. like, I'm all bad and strong and nobody like me. And he gets in the Quinjet and like basically like flies off and he's mm-hmm. like, peace out. Nobody's going to bother deal with me anymore. I'm kind of like going to go on my own type of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then like way later, like four, three years later, whatever, they introduce him back in Thor Ragnarok and it picks back up um yeah. but in the comics which what's pretty interesting is uh during the events of civil war hulk is unwillingly sent to space by the illuminati so that he doesn't interfere with, with the, events, the, of the events of civil war and during the events of civil war hulk was off planet technically speaking so it'd be kind of cool if the illuminati comes back and they're like hey look at all the us. shit we were secretly doing in the first three phases of marvel and wow. you're like oh fuck yeah. That explains that. That explains this. I mean, it makes a lot of purposely to, did all these things. Yeah, it's it works on cool. two levels because it's like not only is it like a, all of this was going on behind the scenes, but now it's like oh, now we can do whatever. <laughs> yeah, because we can just say oh, they they had it. They exactly. had it planned from twenty years ago. Bro, they they made it possible for them to literally say uh, we because the Illuminati yeah. because yeah. of America yeah. because of this. They made it so they they're could fucking smart. It's yeah. like it, it's not it's like creative freedom for the future by referencing the past. It's yeah. like oh, they were there the whole time. Oh yeah, Loki broke everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're Loki, Loki broke everything. It's fucking Loki's fault, bro. <laughs> Just blame Loki. <laughs> the Ten Rings, Yo, they speaking, kidnapped Tony. Speaking of all this like comic book stuff, I bought my tickets for Comic Con this year. Nice. All right. And, yeah, then uh, you have cosplay ideas. I was like stuck for the longest time, but then my uh, my cousin reminded me that Daredevil's coming back, and I think I want to be Matt Murdock. I'm going to buy the the red suit and the not the red suit, the gray suit. I'm going to be him when he's like. And a turn his, yeah. his attorney outfit. You get the red little glasses, get the red glasses and everything. I have to shave. Get a little walking stick, mm-hmm. but play it off really good, like <laughs> really good. Like, yeah. like go to law. No, go to law school. You should be a daredevil. Graduate. You should go to <laughs> law school. Bar exam. Yeah, wait. you should be daredevil without his heightened senses. So he's just a blind guy <laughs> with cool glasses. You know. <laughs> <laughs> who talks really sick he's just like yeah you know i could get you out of it out of a jam and then he's talking to a wall or something <laughs> like that you know <laughs> like if you get this i'm dead i'm going for two days so i think i want to do that and maybe i'll do another costume i told I'm, you to do ash from nah, I'm, the, I'm legit considering it i'm cut off your hand bro yeah just, <laughs> just it put, on. It, put a chainsaw on it i can do it like do hostel it. gato hostel gato who do you think he's based hostel off gato. Of? <laughs> <laughs> oh Fucking man hostel gato He's like the joke is like Haas avocado, right? That's kind of like the, what I always kind of. Oh, is it? I don't think that's the joke, I don't think but it's I feel like it's. Delgado. I feel like that's why they named him Haas. You know what I mean? Like why else did they name him Haas? What Haas? Because his name Delgado. is Haas Delgado. Okay. And then there's Haas avocados. Okay. So Ooh, okay. you know what I mean? It has to be yeah, because I don't know. Yeah, because I mean, Haas is like a because it's like a 
It's like a not Spanish name. You wouldn't give yeah. a, a a redheaded fucking a redheaded. I'm here for destruction. <laughs> That's this guy, right? What's his name? Uh, the the deep voice actor. Now that I think about it, that he does everything else. He's like Batman and a couple of things. Really YouTube, you Google him. I know it's something with a B. Something definitely <laughs> something with a B. Benjamin. Ben, 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 Bill, Benjamin, Bill Burr, Bill, or Dedrick Bader, Baker, Dietrich, 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 Dietrich Baker. There we go. Bader, ba- Bader, yeah. Bader, Bader. Dietrich oh, I know that. Yeah. That's the guy from. Uh, he's in Office Space. He's in Magic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he does oh, like every deep voice. Yeah, yeah he's in he a does lot a lot of old like that deep voice. Yeah, he was Batman and Brave and the Bold. Yeah. He's Rex and Napoleon Bader. Bader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Rex Quando for yeah. sure. That's how. Oh I wow, yeah. that's him. Rex Quando. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you hear Haas's voice? Yeah. yeah. That's the one. That and in some movies, he sounds it. slightly different, but you see him and you're like, yeah, he's, that's still. He's Batman in some Batman stuff. And what was I going to say? Fucking, uh, what are you most excited for for Comic Con? Uh, I don't know what vendors are, are going right now. And a lot of the vendors I used to go to have like, stopped going because they moved out of the like country. Even. Mm-hmm. But um, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> I have another question for you. You don't have to answer specifically, you could just be like, you know, too much. But right. like, how much money on average do you spend every year at Comic Con? We're adults. That's not a bad question. It's uh, not a bad question. That's a pretty good I question. I think about around only two hundred sometimes. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I feel like that's the like that's kind of the thing, you know? Like you have to save money and go. It's not like you go to Comic Con with no money and you. It is, you Unless bro. you're rich. <laughs> yeah, no. Like you're rich. If you want to enjoy yourself, you know, spend you'll, some, you'll, yeah. you'll, save you'll some be money. at Comic Con and you'll see something that looks dope. Exactly. To like a fandom that you like. You'll see thirty things that look dope, <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, it's that thing from that game or that TV show or that comic or that thing, and then it'll be like, all right, yeah, it's sixty bucks. Yeah, and you're like, damn, okay, all right. and then buy. <laughs> That's how they get you. I might want to go back next year. It's it's, it's dope. Fun. Yeah, I only went the first time I went. I took like eighty bucks or something like that. That was mad long ago. You know what? Let's just get famous, and next year we'll we'll do a panel. We'll do a panel. Yeah, there. That's way yeah. better. Yeah. We'll just have a booth. We'll have everything. It'll be with this table. We'll bring it yeah. to the city we'll at the Javits the Center. Yeah, <laughs> we're on the A train with the table. With the table. Yeah. <laughs> we have it. Down. There's like Handle. one guy who knows who we are. They're like, hey, we're like, yeah. hey, the mic's attached, and we're just like. It doesn't fold. We're just walking. This <laughs> I thought we had it down. We were sitting at the table with also chairs we brought. Oh like yeah, a, chairs yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's a whole. A it's a whole operation. Yeah, a whole operation. Sure. Like the like the like, the, the, like the, the what the old people. It's like the chain, the cane that turns into a chair. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, with, yeah like, the little yeah, flap. Yeah. yeah. yeah My yeah, grandpa this. has a wheel thing that also turns into a chair. That oh, shit's nice. dope. It's mad convenient. He's like walking around. Next thing he knows, he's like. <laughs> like, Whoa. like damn bro fucking inspector gadget bro <laughs> like, i have to wait till i'm old to get that <laughs> no bro it'll be even crazier because we'll be older we'll be like 50 years from now that shit will be crazy we get the robot like, joystick yo, thing we're gonna have something cooler than that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my shit has a microwave bro <laughs> <laughs> like a futuristic yo, microwave dude, what is that i have an air fryer <laughs> <laughs> you want a dumpling <laughs> Like that, uh, Great. shout outs to air fryer. You know what I've been doing? Yeah. I've been getting fit. Damn. Yeah. I've been getting into that fitness fit game. Fit or swole? Uh, honestly, just trying to yeah, stay fit. Trying you know? to stay. I, what more of it is trip. that I'm trying to take care of my shoulder because I have like issues with that. Yeah. But I've kind of ventured into doing more like, uh, I started off doing a lot of calisthenics work. So I was doing a lot of push ups, sit ups, uh, chin ups whenever I had the chance to. But I'm starting to like go into more resistance band type stuff. And today we actually. We're in the process of turning our garage into like a workout space, Ooh. and today we actually like got really good progress on it. We put uh, drywall or sheetrock up on top of the the frame, and my dad is gonna put those flat mirrors on it so that you can watch yourself shadow box and like lift oh, okay. weights and shit That's like dope. that. Uh, my uncle Papo today put the chain up, and we actually <laughs> have the heavy bag hanging now. So you can That's actually, dope. You can actually, and we have two of them too. He made it so that they're interchangeable. You could take off one and put on the other because nice. one's longer and heavier than the other. And then next week he's gonna put the speed bag up and put up like the weight station. So it's like a full on thing. Bob is gonna yeah. next time like wait a year from now or maybe even less, <laughs> and you're gonna see Bob just be like, "Welcome to the joystick show, guys." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, fucking. And you'll be a size larger and buy new shirts. New shirts, and then yeah. <laughs> keep that going to keep my uh, see me in fucking 180, yeah. bro. I'm never changing this joke. <laughs> my closet is gonna be stacked, bro. Nah, but uh, even like uh, past all the, the the typical fitness shit, right? With like 
pulling, jumping, uh, not jump, fucking pushing weights and yeah. doing resistance bands, boxing stuff. I've also been getting fit in a very, very fun way that we also have to to communally get fit together in. Jerry and I got fit in it. Now that's the switch sports. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Shit is fun as hell. You gotta play it. So uh, allow me to, to elaborate further on this. Uh, the year was, when did the Wii come out? Fucking 2008. You, for a fact, it came out earlier. Than I that. kind of feel like it was 2008. No, it came out earlier. I'll go with. Oh, we'll get up. Somebody give me. I'll go with. It's 05 or 06. I remember it was like really hectic. I think the PS3 was 06. So, so. it was probably mm. yeah. So it might be even before that. I'm going 05 when or 06. When did the Wii come out? Uh, it's maybe gonna be just typing in. It's gonna be real surprising. Real I'm gonna say 06. I'm also going 06. The Nintendo Wii. Oh, Wii U. I was about to say 2012. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I got that too, and I was like, that's wrong. Why isn't this coming? Oh, here we go. 2006. 2006. Wow. November 2006. So, yeah, when 2006. So, the year was 2006, right? And uh, Important the, shit. the Wii came Everyone out. Was freaking out because you tried you to buy swing. one and you didn't. So, no, no, no. <laughs> so, truth be told, right? Um, When the Wii came out, it went right over my head. This was a before. I always was into video games, but this was before a time where I was like reading Game Informers or even like really knew what was coming out and stuff like that. I knew the Wii was coming out, but I really didn't know. I guess, if anything, I was more like. Uh, I was, I was the kid that was like, it's probably just going to be trash type of thing, right? And then the first time we went to my cousin's house and we played on their Wii, it was like everybody in my family was like, we need one of these yeah. right the fuck now. <laughs> it was the only console that my parents like bought for themselves not for themselves but it was like it was bought it. Yeah. it was it bought with the like intention them, yeah it exactly like, it was like we're gonna this. play this we, we you know yeah. we would like to play <laughs> for sure but uh you know every every we came with like the highest selling game of all time we sports for that fucking great technicality but uh you know one of the the most popular games is bowling it's just like you know i feel like it's also one of the more lax games so a lot of people can play it i remember a lot of lots of memories bowling yeah. with like my grandmas yeah. and stuff like that it's really uh, simple you know <laughs> a lot of videos of old people throwing wiimotes into televisions oh, and shit you know no no strap yeah. Whoa, but uh true. get the strap so we used to play we bowling a lot and my dad used to suck at it and he used to be so pissed so he used to start like practicing. So when everybody would go to bed, my dad would stay up and he would play Wii Sports bowling at like gets, gets from like the, two to air. four in the morning. Imagine that <laughs> South Park over there sure. thing, get right? The, get the things on yeah, your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Get ready for it. So when everybody's fucking asleep, my dad is in the living room from two to four in the morning in the mid two thousands, just fucking bowling strikes. And apparently, this guy's like bowling three hundreds in the middle of the night. And he tells us, he's like, dude, I'm, I'm fucking, I had like eight strikes last night, I'm on fire. And then we play again and he would suck. So there's just this <laughs> ongoing joke where my dad can only play Wii Bowling at, at night. night, night. Well. So needless to say, my dad is a Wii Bowling aficionado. Yeah. So as soon as I bought Switch Sports and as soon as I brought it downstairs and put it on the dock and gave him the mm-hmm. controller and it started, he was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> He was like, no, no way. Oh, that's so high, bro. It's this fucking guy. We play. It was so funny because like I didn't say anything. We just we played the first game, right? And then it does the whole thing. If music plays and the little winner, da, da, da. And I just let it wait for a couple seconds. And he's like, bro, put it on again. Put it on again. Let's go. Let's, let's run it again. Let's run it again. Oh, he's, he's got me three that's to one. Awesome. Like, he's fucking okay. destroying awesome. me, man. He's got, the, he's got the technique down. <laughs> My mom's is badminton. Holy shit. My mom fucking this guy in the fucking <laughs> racket sports holy oh, shit oh word yeah nice. not fun don't play jerry in tennis or fucking badminton yo i'll harness my inner fucking williams man yeah, but yeah to staying on on track with the fitness thing that shit actually is good exercise like if you play it for a good 30 minutes playing like tennis jumping around doing volleyball or whatever by the end of it you'll literally you'll be like out of breath he'll be like yeah. oof like oh yeah word i was starting to sweat a little i bit. need to, at the end the last bowling game we played we were sitting down <laughs> we just like, <laughs> oh, relax enough of that you know a little bit of arm room crazy I, I once bought a a playstation vr workout game where it kind of puts you like in a like a boxing ring and you use your the move controllers like gloves is it the rocky one uh no okay. it's uh it's just like a generic like punch vr and you're just like moving your body and ducking yeah. like an actual bar and it was pretty dope like i played it for a bit and then it, I got like really fucking sweaty under the VR I'm like <laughs> yeah where it's like a suction <laughs> <laughs> I, I have something else I could bring up I just don't want to be the Do guy it. to bring up two things Do it. I have something else I could bring so up so there he goes there you go. well it's, it's not going to lead into a conversation I think it's, but uh, anyways <laughs> what are you going to be like how about uh, that rain <laughs> that, so, that uh, rain that rain no um in my, in my job we are getting ready for the kids graduation there's the students graduation 
Oh, graduation. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they say it. Right? That's how they say it. Are your kids graduating or? Uh, yeah. Okay. So they're they're going into like kindergarten. So we're having like a ceremony. So. Uh, I normally I always play like Toy Story You Got a Friend in Me Mm -hmm. so they're singing like all the friends we made here and during the part where like there's an instrumental I decided like on the whim I said all right and then here you're gonna do a little spin like do a little (laughs) spin around and they start spinning around and as I turn around I hear one of my students just go helicopter helicopter That kid is advanced with the meme. I started crying, and my assistant's looking at me like was rug and like the song is like on the third voice verse is like you got and i'm still crying the kid notices i'm laughing like he feels like i made the teacher yeah, laugh yeah, yeah. i made the oh, little four-year-old yeah, helicopter, yeah. helicopter helicopter and i started crying he's looking at me like <laughs> got him. get rocked joey <laughs> oh my god that's so good i love that kid amazing oh these kids, are, they got access to the internet, man. No, oh, not only They're that, just as up to date with the memes as you. Yeah, word the internet. I uh, I was observing uh, the second grade class and the first grade class for one of my classes, my college classes, but um, they all got like their own personal iPads. So not only do they like have the smart board uh, teaching the lesson, they all have ipads that are connected to the smart board so they're not they're not even looking at the smart board like everyone's kind of just looking at their own pad and the teacher's asking so what now and they're just kind of like six back in my day we used to use notebooks and lead pencils when we're all not fucking stupid we're all gonna (laughs) we're we're all gonna just like look at the ipad and they're and it's games like it looks like fun like the kids are like really excited to do it and so i'm wondering if that Mm -hmm. like we're going to have, like, these next kids are going to just be, like, so advanced with technology. Oh, yeah, for sure. They're, like, in they, first yeah. grade playing with tablets and, yeah. like, knowing how to maneuver it. Like, yeah. like yeah, it's going to be crazy, these kids. And also just making school, like, fun <laughs> or, I guess, like, bearable, yeah. you know? Because yeah. the whole thing is that most kids hated school, so it's, like, yeah. you have to make school kind of like We grew this. up with, like, cartoons about, like, man, school sucks. Yeah. Are they going to still have that vibe? Or is it going to be, like, a robot? Well, like, I've, I've seen... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Joe going that way with that one. No, but I was like, I've seen like some like kid shows, especially since I teach middle schoolers. That's like when I teach them filmmaking, I'm constantly like, what are you guys watching? And then they'll just feed me with all of these new animated shows I've never heard of. And I have to look them up or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it feels like school now in these shows is just kind of like the social hangout spot where kids like meet up with each other. Yeah, which is They don't bring dating. up like anything school work related, anything teacher related. It's just like, yo, see you in the hall. Because back in the day, like, that'd be like a plot point. Yeah. It was like, oh, you had homework or you exactly. had a show like Ned's a Classified where it was like a whole fucking... Well, there was a mean teacher. Yeah, like, yeah. The whole show is class. about school. school. Zoe 101, they're in a school. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like crazy stuff. Now it's kind of like, you do whatever. My locker for my books, <laughs> right? <laughs> now it's just that one tablet. Yeah. That's all you need. If I can, uh, I guess I, I get into my, th- it's hard to segue off of that one. Yeah. No, um, yeah, we're fucking. So educate us with whatever yeah. the fuck you have on. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a tablet. Yeah. Just like, Pull out a tablet. So here are the numbers. No, like. you know, a couple weeks back, uh, the Joystick Show did a special episode where, uh, I don't know if anybody, are you guys? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was the episode where Jerry was here and then Joey walked in late. That's what it was. Oh, yes. And it was the episode where we were specifically talking about comedy actors and the we comedy were. movies that, you know, shaped us. Shaped and, you know, we talked about a lot of heavy hitters. We talked about, you know, Adam Sandler, Will Ferrell. We talked about uh, Eddie Murphy. Jim and we talked, about, we talked about Rob Schneider and Jim Carrey, all these these people. And I feel like there was, like, one name that I didn't bring up that day. And I even told Dylan beforehand it was, like, uh, because I felt like he wasn't really around for as long as, like, those other people had careers. And as of very, very recently, he's come out with a Netflix show that I like a lot. It's not doing well by critics, but I'll get into it in a second. And I just wanted to praise the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Myers. Oh, for a hot game. I remember we even even talked. I remember you were right. We talked about it right before we started the podcast. We mentioned it. Because I was like, in terms of comedy, he really just has like the Austin Powers trilogy and then like Wayne's World and Shrek. And, you know, it's kind of, you can, everything else. That's a good, that's a good. uh, It's a great resume. I'm saying, but I'm just saying it's not as long, it's not as storied as as, uh, some of the other people that we talked about. But uh, Mike Myers came out with a show called The Pentaveret. Have you guys heard of it? No. No. And I skimmed what you said in the comments. Allow me to explain. Um, Have you guys ever heard of a movie called So I Married an Axe Murderer? If anybody here's heard of it, it's probably Dylan. 
Yeah. Maybe. So if I'm what correct. What was the original? The original it was like an orig- old movie. It's an old movie from like the early 90s, I think. Oh, okay. It's actually, I'm pretty sure, Mike Myers' second movie. Uh, and it was like the first movie that he made like on his own. Okay. Because I think his first movie was Wayne's World, which was like an SNL movie. So yeah, Lauren helped him cool. make it with the, with the NBC people or whatever. But So I Married an Axe Murder was like his first like creation. Right. Very Mike Myers-esque. He plays multiple characters in the movie. But the gist of the movie is he plays a poet from San Francisco, I think. All right who uh, ends up marrying a woman who he becomes paranoid and thinks is trying to murder him. So oh, the whole joke is that it's like a thriller that's a comedy. Yeah, so a comedy I thriller. see. That makes sense. Okay. At the time, the movie didn't do really well, but it garnered a huge cult following. And it's one of those movies that a lot of people now say it was like it was a masterpiece. It's just at the time. Way ahead of its time. Exactly. Like Interesting. That. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because in the movie, uh, Mike Myers plays the main character, but he also plays the main character's dad. And the main character's dad is like your typical Mike Myers character, old Scottish man. You can yeah. it's just Shrek. You like you hear the voice all automatically. Yeah. But his father in the movie is like hell bent on the idea of like conspiracy theories and secret societies. Okay. And in the movie, his father believes in a secret society called the Pentaveret, which is a secret society of five really like high profile people that rule the entire world. And so the show And so twenty years later, he decided to make a show about the secret society that that one character used to talk about. And does movie. he play all five? He plays more than all five. Oh, of the shit. oh my, gosh. Yeah. Oh my uh, God. So really quickly, I'm just going to get off of it. Just get it out of the hump. If you're not like a fan of like that goofy, stupid fucking humor, if you're not a yeah. fan of like that Austin Powers Which, type also, stuff, why are you watching this if you are, you're but. most likely not going to be a fan of the, of the Pentaveret. And I'll even go further. It's, it's like a hard watch. The idea was that it's all of that goofiness, but kind of tied in with like a scientific, not scientific with a cinematic sci-fi element. Tied okay. In. So it's like, it's kind of like, the best way I could describe it is it's like 60 to 70% Austin Powers and like 20 to 30% fucking, I don't know, Mission sci-fi. Impossible. Some sh- Not like that, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like serious to a degree. Oh, um, would, would the fucking, the Seth MacFarlane fucking Star Trek show, would that be comparable or no? <laughs> no, 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 no. That one's more like... Because uh, it's sci... Because it is... Sci- what? Like, what's so, that That movie? That the yeah. Orville, yeah. Yeah. So no. what? what is it sci... Not to cut you off. No, it's but okay. Like, what's the sci-fi? Like, how is it sci-fi? Uh, you know it's I mean. more so like how the uh, the organization works, all oh, the secrecy. Oh, I see. It's I very see. like under wraps and all that stuff. Okay. So the the way that they premise it is like the Pentaveret has been around since like almost the 1300s. Like Charles Darwin was a member. Okay. A bunch of presidents were members. All these people. And how it works is when a member dies, they like elect a new person to Ooh. take over the spot in the Pentaveret. Okay. So the way that the show starts, without I'll just spoil the very beginning, is Keegan Michael Key is in it. Okay. And he plays like this this like groundbreaking scientist and he gets kidnapped because the Pentaveret wants him to take the fifth spot in okay. the thing. And they even make a joke that like they, they're trying to like uh they're trying to colorize it a little bit, you know. Because oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he's like, "You kidnapped the black man. You're all white." And he's like, "We used to kidnap white people. We're trying to give black people a yeah, chance." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. So to, to give a rundown of the, of the members of the Pentaveret that Mike Myers plays, okay, <laughs> it's great. I don't know all the names, right? He plays a British lord. Uh, yeah. I think his name is like something Lordington or some shit like that. He plays a Russian oligarch who straight up looks like Rasputin. You know what I mean? <laughs> he plays uh, an Australian newspaper tycoon. Okay. Very like businessy type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then my personal favorite is he plays uh, Alice Cooper's former band manager, Shep Gordon, <laughs> what the who is fuck? a real life person <laughs> and is still alive. <laughs> but he plays him. He plays him. <laughs> Shep Gordon is a member of the Pentaveret. Yes. Okay, Amazing. That's and, uh, what a reference. Holy yeah. Shit. And then the other character and he plays a lot of other characters but the other character that he plays is uh this i think his name is ken something i think his name is ken toronto and the whole joke the whole point is he's like uh he's like a local anchor not anchor man he's like a local reporter for like a canadian broadcast team okay and he's the one who's trying to debunk the pentaveret so like he's the one not only does he play the four members of the pentaveret he plays like the guy who's looking for the pentaveret and trying to crack the case if okay you i see so that's what the, the show is it's 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 how many episodes and how long are they i think six or something like that all they're right. all about like you know like 40 minutes long like a typical run through but it's all just filled with dumb fucking jokes i'm I mean, so excited the yeah, best way i, I could describe it, it is it's like dumb joke and then it's like 
a minute or two of like, oh, okay, okay, dumb joke, <laughs> dumb joke. You know what I mean? Oh, that makes sense. So, and it, it does slog on Good. a little later, but uh, but for for the jokes uh, like alone, it was such a great watch because it brought me back to those good old like Austin Powers days. And the last thing I was gonna say is I told somebody about it here, but. Uh, he threw in a nod, and he actually plays Shrek on the show. Nice. Uh, nice. It's a little weird because he plays a guy in a Shrek costume. Like, he's literally in a giant Shrek suit, <laughs> but he's voicing Shrek in just, like, a giant felt Shrek suit. And then the other guy, who's also Mike Myers, is like, Shrek! And he's like, ah, my dude! <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> it's pretty hype. But, he's uh, basically talking to himself. Yeah, but it was really Crazy. cool. And to end it, not on the Pentaveret, to end it more like to come full circle on the Mike Myers thing, I think because that show came out, he's been doing like a lot of interviews lately with like, you know, when they have like, Mm -hmm. this guy talks about his career and this guy answers questions about comedy and stuff like that. I I saw two specifically those actually, but Mm -hmm. he did one for Netflix where he was just talking about writing comedy movies and writing jokes and and, and stuff like that and playing characters. And then he did one where he broke down all his iconic roles throughout his career. Oh, that's my favorite And it's so cool to see how serious Mike Myers takes all of his characters and all of his writing. You gotta imagine. No, like, of course you have to take it seriously, but I always, you know, have this expectation that he, and granted, he's still a funny guy, but that he's gonna be like, oh, I just came up with this and then like that. But no, the amount of thought that goes into like, no this character comes from this and i added a little bit of this because when i was growing up i always thought that and it's like holy shit he's putting together like it's like mad on. serious yeah, especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like especially when character. you do like stereotypes like the process like, is really yeah, fucking you have to. it's interesting a it's lot more of complex studying, than you thought it a would lot of be. studying and like figuring out and be like all right i'm gonna do it now yeah it's crazy but that was my hot take on uh on the on mr myers nice i just want to see more of him honestly now just, he, it'd be dope to see more of him. i mean he's like i said i wanted to talk about him that podcast so yeah, yeah, of, yeah. Course, of course i feel a certain type of way i like him a lot mm-hmm. very uh underrated not underrated but like overlooked maybe i don't even think he's that like i said earlier i just think there's like a really fucking long time where he didn't do yeah, anything yeah or, or like at least said, he didn't yeah. do anything live action because yeah. he was still doing like mm-hmm. the, some shrek stuff but and... people will look at the characters he plays and goes oh this is like a goofy dude you this know? is a funny guy they, that's what i'm getting yeah. at but it's more so that it's like oh no this is a guy who's a master at creating characters and fucking like you know turning these characters into people with their own accents and walks and this and that it's mm-hmm. very awesome yeah so look out for my new character. I'm unveiling him on the next episode of the Joystick Show. Ooh, every episode you're a different. Every episode is yeah. someone else. It's not just a new outfit every time now. It's a whole now different a whole fucking persona. Yeah. New lower third. My name is Paul. Hopefully you don't have to do like other countries because you not, it's not going <laughs> to yeah, work. But wait, both, you, don't, you don't think I do amazing accents? Don't not I? only accent, but just like... <laughs> my impression game? Mexican, Skin Russian. Tone. There's a lot going on. Hairstyle. Yeah, right. There's a lot you got to do here. Bro, bro. Give, me, give me any no. any accent right now. Any accent. Any action? I don't even want to do. Go this ahead. Oh, I don't want to do this to our. Go audience. ahead. No, I want to do it. Okay. <laughs> do uh, Mexican. Uh, give ahead. me a, give me a sentence. No. Um. <laughs> um. I went to the park to play with my friends. Okay. <laughs> I went to the park to play with my friends. It's not bad. So to be fair, I'm doing a Speedy Gonzalez <laughs> impression. That, 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 that's Mexican. That's my fallback. When I don't know how to do an impression of an accent, I do an impression of a character with that accent. With the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I I can't really do Russian, but I do a pretty good Drago. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're going down rocky. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I just fuck, rocky. fuck you, rocky. Like, <laughs> dice, dice. That, it, it, it is easy. Yeah, it, it is. It is. That does like, make sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Cause like when you when I think like oh do a Scottish accent I think Shrek I can't like, do Scottish that's hard for me Scottish is lobby no yeah. see what the fuck was that sounds that? pretty good it's just you, need, right. you need more throat yeah yeah I can't more throat <laughs> yeah. maybe you can Pause. teach me a thing about that yeah, maybe yo I found like my new favorite candy what is it it's this. Word. Oh, Joey said he was gonna. Oh, shit. Joey told me earlier he was popping something Damn, out. Damn, this is like such a Bobby move. Word. Oh yeah, this is classic. I remember these. Absolute classic. Wait, what? These are Mike and Ike's. Who was it that brought these to my house? house? This is my. Uh, these used to be a dollar at my old job. That's what? I used, to br- I used to bring these all the time. Dylan used to bring this to my four house. They're also at Walgreens. So. Od. Four, four, four. And he gave me like two once, and they were the best thing I ever had. I went and I bought a pack, and those are the only two flavors I like in the entire pack. <laughs> now I got boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, no way! Shit. I imagine I thought Joey was gonna bring out like the tropical mix. I thought he was going a way different no, direction. No, because there's, there's also a make. There's also a Mike and Ike's Mega Mix Tropical. 
I know about that one. And it's not sour, and it, so it's not as good. So you think when I when I I was like, oh, these are sour. So I I love sour candy and stuff. Uh, I thought this was like powdered coated or something. Oh no, yeah. it's not. So it's like a regular Mike and Ike. And I think like the powdering or the sourness is inside. Yeah, they just made the gooeyness inside sour. And it's it's amazing. Yeah, like it's, it's such good. a really great combination. Would you consider yourself a connoisseur of this candy? Yes. This so is... if Joey gave you a flavor without you looking at the no, color, no, I don't. I, the fla- <laughs> the f- there's ten different flavors. No, that's the point. Yeah. So I don't there's think ten I, different. Flavors. I don't think I'd be able. to And get... I expect you to say watermelon wipeout too. <laughs> I, if you say <laughs> watermelon, that, that is not I don't is not acceptable. I don't know that answer. well. I don't know. I that Give well. Dylan one blindfold, and I'm serious. Ready, ready, go. I want to see if Dylan fucking right. nails It'll it. Hold on, show it to me first, so I can I can get an idea. Oh, I know. I I can tell you the name of this one. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. You can give it to Dylan. You go, Dylan. Go, me. I got watermelon wipeout. <laughs> watermelon wipeout. <laughs> what did Dylan get? If you don't know the alliteration, just come up with an adjective on the spot. You know, <laughs> charging cherry. <laughs> the fuck, screaming cherry? Is that even? <laughs> Is there alliteration in the name? This one has an alliteration. Yes. Fucking. Here's a hint. They all start with sour. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you give everybody one but me? That's cool. I appreciate sour. it. Sour. Open the box. Can you just say the flavor? I don't know. Grapefruit? It's strawberry. Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus Christ. That was strawberry? I don't need okay, all of it. There you go. Yeah, uh, yeah just, just dope. Sour pucker punch. I think I want one of the green ones. Yo, the red one's mad good, though. The punch one is actually really good. Yeah, these are really good. These are, uh, they become my favorite candies. They're very good. Thank you. This is for later. Sorry nobody's talking. We're all chewing on a mic and Ike. This is perfect <laughs> time to, I don't know. At the same time. Amazing. We can actually swing on over to Jim and Yam. Oh, shit, what? Mm-hmm. A little shorty. All right. Shouty. I mean, if anybody's got anything else to say, I mean. Um, mm. comic con Helicopter, helicopter. I had one thing, but I'm kind of <laughs> tired of talking about shit I've seen, to be honest. I think I want to put a pin in that. You didn't have anything else planned? Huh? We had nothing else planned for this episode? Uh, What do you mean? Like, in terms of topics? Yeah. Yeah, but it was stuff I saw. And, like, the uh, thing was... Because that was really it. Since we didn't... Since we weren't doing the podcast, I just kind of resulted into, like, watching a lot of movies oh, and, like, shit. Yeah, streaming bro. a lot of Twitch. Word. I mean, I watched so much fucking YouTube, bro. I, like... You know me. Well, yeah. I'll say this one thing real quick. I'll say that over the hiatus, I watched the, I don't know if it's pronounced Levi or Levy or Levy or whatever, but Sean Levy, Canadian director, and Ryan Reynolds have like the Levy Reynolds trilogy mm-hmm. now where they basically partnered up a couple years ago to make Free Guy, nice, which is that video game movie that came out a bit oh. a while ago. Then after that, this year, or like, in yeah, this past year, they made The Adam Project, which was a Netflix original movie okay. that premiered with him and uh, Mark Ruffalo in it. And the third movie that's in production and will be coming out is Deadpool 3, which they announced was going to be obviously starring Ryan Reynolds and directed by Sean Levy. But like, I hadn't seen Free Guy or Adam Project, and I knew about the Deadpool thing, so I figured I didn't really have a movie to watch, so I was like, let me start that. Like, let me go get a feel for what these movies are going to be like. And I gotta say, I was really fucking pleasantly surprised with both of those movies. Like, I, yeah. very watched, much so. I watched Free Guy on the way to Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, when yeah. I watched Free Guy. Free Guy, in specific, was probably my favorite. I think I went into Free Guy thinking it was gonna be, like, that typical video game movie. Cra- kind of you know? cringe. Yeah, cringe yeah. Video game game movie. But then they ended up Ready spinning it into one. a really fucking cool idea. Like, mm-hmm. the, ob- the idea of an NPC character who thinks he's not only, like, a player in the game, but thinks that his world is real. Like, that whole shit was wild. Like, and they did so many cool things. And it was also really tasteful in how they, like, uh, they, uh, like, they... Uh, what's the word? How they bring it back to video games, right? It's not like uh, how they get cheesy with it, and they're like, "Oh, mods and glitches." Oh, like I'm they're an NPC. They're very serious about it. They're like, "Oh, the save file, it's corrupted." Da da da. It's like shit you actually see in games and things like that. Like I don't think it was that cheesy, which I liked. And then Adam Project was like less fun for me because it's kind of more of like a sci-fi adventure type serious, thing. Serious. It's more serious. But the ending was fucking beautiful. The ending made me sob. And it's not even that sad. It's just really just like, 
it's a really beautiful outlook on like living your life to the fullest and just like enjoying every part of yourself because so many people mm. are like i hated this part of me or i hated that when i was like that but it's like no these are all like the building blocks that make you you at the end of the day so that's actually make you yeah and it was really this. really powerful the ending i remember being very bummed it out was really it was awesome. very Sad oh, I was crying. Yeah. I was like, fuck. I was like wiping the tears away. <laughs> and then we we talked about it briefly before the podcast that that director Sean Levy has like this utility belt of family movies that he's directed for the past Word. twenty years. Think he's, of like any family movie you saw. He did like child. Cheaper by the Dozen, Big Fat Liar, Night at the Museum, all the Night at the Museum trilogy, Real Steel, Pink Panther. So that's the Steve Martin, bro. Yeah, right. What a fucking legend. Cheaper man. by the dozen. So this guy just fucking uh, he does like all these like family oriented like comedies. So it's I'm very interested to see what he ends up doing with Deadpool since those movies are supposed to be more raunchy. You Ugh. know, typically supposed honestly, I think it'd be really cool to see a Deadpool three that keeps the violence and the action to what it is in the first and second movie, but funny enough has the comedy of a Sean Levy movie. I feel like that juxtaposition could really work. Like, here you have Deadpool who's fucking decapitating Yakuza members and shit like that, but he's like, right? You know, like, goofy, stupid <laughs> shit. Like, I think that would end up working better than... Not working better, but I think the difference between that and kind of just having your typical snarky Ryan Reynolds being like, ha yeah, yeah, and then not, I, could I, work a little not better. That, not that the world is tired of snarky Ryan Reynolds, but I feel like you gotta do something a little <laughs> Yeah, and in the comics, new. Ryan... Uh, not Ryan. In the comics, <laughs> Deadpool's a lot more animated. Deadpool is Ryan Reynolds. But yeah, but in the comics, is Deadpool is super animated. Like he's like, whoa, he's like here, here. Like he's supposed to be like a cartoon character in real life. Type yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Kind of. I don't know what the word would be like, but like over the top. Exactly. And I hope in a weird way that that's what they end up doing with mm. Deadpool three. Possibly. But they yeah. might. He might like get goofy with it this time. He's like, yeah, fuck it. You know, they goofy. They got goofy with <laughs> Thor, Thor on the third movie. What? Thor. Oh. I like pictured Goofy with Thor. Like I was like, <laughs> Gore. I was so confused. I was like, I didn't see that in the trailer. That's funny. Weird. Yeah, Thor no. one and two was like mad serious and boring, and then they were like, Hey, let's just have fun with this character. Let's fat. Let's let's get a director who knows how to make good movies. Amen. But anyway, now we can definitely swing it into jam and yam. Nice. I could just go right off the bat with my jam. Go for it. Uh, it was kind of funny because who was it that posted in the chat today? Somebody posted like a meme that was like uh, listening to female rappers nowadays. And it's like, Me. my pussy, my pussy, pussy, like all that. <laughs> so today's jam of the week is Plan B by Megan The Stallion. Nice. Which is literally that. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> just that whole song. Nice. That song is a fucking banger. <laughs> it got added to the workout playlist. I never thought I would be like, you know popping a good 25 push-ups to hearing a song about like you know can't believe i used to fuck you your dick's ugly this that and it's like yeah fuck your dick you know yeah, 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 ugly yeah. dick <laughs> bobby's getting back at who someone <laughs> you know <laughs> my pussy's the most expensive thing you'll ever eat you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. and i'm just there like Damn. bars you know yeah, <laughs> like, fuck bobby's you. like i had an yeah, expensive meal last week in the city <laughs> can i real quick talk about how i found this song yeah how'd you find the song bobby Rosario? so megan megan the stallion performed this song last week on the billboard awards as I was walking downstairs and caught my mom fucking jamming out to this song. She's just there like, yeah, <laughs> while half naked making it. By the way, I love making this time. I'm not bashing her, yeah. but she's just there like literally ass out. And she's like, fuck you. We used to butt. And my mom's just there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I looked at her and I was like, you like it? She's like, I feel it. I was like, yeah, mom. Yeah, okay. And then you listen to it. You're like, all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah, jam of the, jam of the week's plan B made the style. Nice. My, yam of the week is class of 68 um i don't remember the fucking artist carlby shouts the fucking my boy carlby uh yeah it's a good song very like uh emo rap crossover but more like i don't know low-key like acoustic kind of fire so nice yeah good crossover hi-hats coming on like halfway through good Yo, beat i like those songs that like you suggest and that they sound good i like i like that uh, my my slam, my I haven't Welcome. been listening to a lot of music lately. I feel like I'm just been mad busy. But my slam is I recommended a song because I'm gonna see them live like in a week or so. It's a uh, four year strong brain pa uh, brain pain. <laughs> it's from their newest album and it's uh it's good. A lot of guitars and breakdowns. So I haven't listened to four year strong in so long. Like four years. In four years, it's been. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna be a dick and I was gonna be like, Joe, you want to a concert? <laughs> crazy. Wow, crazy, right? Oh, what was it last week? Me and Dylan went into a tangent about we were talking about like your favorite bands. We were just talking like top five bands, and we were like, we have to abort this conversation. Joey's not here. <laughs> <laughs> no word. 
We're going to have to save 100%. that one for later. The pop punk. Like, which one got, I'm going to that freaking When We Were Young festival in Las Vegas. Vegas, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited for that, even though that shit might fail. go fail yeah. horribly. <laughs> <laughs> you go there, it's like fire festival. Oh my God. It's possible. Get a little ball pit. Yeah. My BAM is uh, it's by Buddy and Kent Jams. It's called Rolling with the Homies. It's really about rolling homies. with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Pretty self descriptive. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It can mean two things. You know, like you're rolling with your homies or you're rolling with your homies. Right, it is a rap song. I'm actually on fire. What? My bo- my entire body is on fire. Stop dropping I'm rolling with the it. homies. There we go. Thank you, Jerry, for that support. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> that was that was a that was a far reach for that. <laughs> that was not Jerry got it immediately. <laughs> I had to go through two other words to get to stop. I had to go through stop and drop to get there. That was a lot. Okay, there's some step. There's some step processing there. <laughs> <Set> fire. <laughs> there's three steps involved. <laughs> nah, I, when I was a kid, it was stop, drop, cover your face, and roll. Uh, Yo, we did a lockdown. Did a, we did a practice. Well. We did a practice lockdown at my job, and uh, now my kids think it's fun. They're like screaming, lockdown, <laughs> the school oh shooter. <laughs> They're having fun with it now. <laughs> they are. Hey, good for them. Good for them. No, no <laughs> I, you have to make it like fun for the kids. You have to make it fun. So I said, if the teacher says lockdown, we say lock lights out of sight. And so that lets them not be scared. Damn, so uh lame. we we no, yeah, because they're not it. old enough. To yeah, like, yeah. Oh, of course. Like, no, they, they don't. They just they're like, oh, there's a bad man here. Yeah. Everyone in the corner. Which and, one is the one where you where you sit under your desk? That's like duck and cover. Like that's like the that's, nu- that's like a, that's like a nuke is coming. Nuke, a nuke is coming. Yeah, that's gonna protect you. So hide under your desk. <laughs> With Russia, that's also that's also important. We or, also or, gotta or learn. Or pull that an one. Indy Jones and hide in your fridge. How do you, how do you make fridge. how do you make Putin's gonna bomb us childish? Yeah. <laughs> world go. <laughs> in Soviet Russia, world so bomb you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Lock out. Thanks for joining the uh, Joystick Show for episode ninety. Yeah, pretty fun episode. Been fun. Got to got to get back together. The Return whole gang, the form. See what see what everybody's been up to. See what everybody's been watching. And Some uh, candy. Yeah. Fucking uh. What were we uh, gonna tell people to comment? Honestly, I, I got. What's your favorite candy? Know. Go for it. What's your favorite candy? Ooh, I want to see some good answers on that one. Helps us a great deal. These are pretty good. I, I wonder guess. whoever who, whoever says violets, you're wrong because no one has that answer. Ugh, yeah. Dots. No one has that answer. Dots. Ew. No. Dots are pretty bad. Yeah, too. that's a good, that's a better question. What's the worst candy, right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking circus peanuts. Out Fuck here. you. Circus peanuts good. Hubba, Bro, bubba, your dad's like the gum? only person I know who eats circus peanuts. Circus <laughs> circus peanuts are not good, but at least they're like a classic where it's like that was a candy. You know, it's like classic but, doesn't make it good. But like it's like butterscotch. It's like you can't get rid of it. You can't like butterscotch. I is that one? I, I, can we not get into a whole fucking thing? We're trying to end this. <laughs> We're trying episode. to end the show. Can we not go on a whole Man, fucking segment? Fuck butterscotch. <laughs> this is like outro fucking featuring school safety measures and what's your favorite candy? candy. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really great if you could like episode ninety of the show. It'd be really yeah. sweet of you like candy. Uh, if you could subscribe to Team Joystick, that would help us even One more. Button, yep. just click trying, it, to, yeah. trying to get those numbers up. Like Dylan like said us. earlier, you can yeah. click that bell. And like Joey said, what is your favorite candy? I, I'm, a, I'm a Sour Power Straws kind of guy. I don't think you can go wrong. That's Speaking good. of that, not to tangent, you know what I have upstairs? Jolly Rancher Ices. Yeah. And it's it's the good flavors too, like watermelon, green apple, blue raz. Yeah, what? so I got to try those. But anyway, without uh, further ado... Before we swing this shit over to uh, like a meeting type sitch, yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna fire Dylan. Uh, does anybody have any last words besides Dylan's actual last words before he gets fired? Yeah. Bye, Dylan. Bye. Peace out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>